We're midway through season one, and good God, this show just keeps getting better and better. I'm not kidding. We're now heading into serious dark territory here. This is Mega Man NG, and I welcome you guys to another TMNT Season 1 episode review. Today, we're going to be talking about Episode 13, I Monster. So here's a deal. I'll be providing a little summary of what it's about, as well as some of the main things I liked. And there is a lot to like in an episode as dark and intense as this. Let us get started. During a dark and stormy night, Dr. Victor Falco is at work, perfecting his mutagen, hoping that he can get his revenge on all who wronged him, including the turtles. But it all goes wrong, and the experimentation has him turn into a devastating force known as the Rat King. The turtles, meanwhile, train to see if they can beat Splinter, only to fail. However, they soon get word of a rat invasion affecting the entire city. As the turtles try to quell the invasion, Falco goes after Splinter telepathically. It's now a fight to save not only the city, but also Splinter's mind as the turtles face off with a very terrifying threat, the Rat King. How do I describe this? This is without a doubt a very good episode. I love it big time. However, this episode got really dark. Really dark, really intense, and really really freaky. Yeah, I can't describe it enough. Dark and intense is what best describes it, and it delivers well. We get to see Victor Falco again, but unfortunately, due to his desire for revenge, everything goes wrong. Him experimenting on hoping to perfect the mutagen that he did with the monkey, well, he ends up becoming the Rat King as a result. And the Rat King is, without a doubt, the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. You guys know of the previous incarnations of the Rat King, such as the 87 one, who wasn't as scary, but was still a force to be reckoned with. He's also one of the few villains who is actually pretty much either good or evil, but he only joins in as long as it favors him. The 2003 version of the Rat King pretty much was an experiment created by Bishop that went wrong. He was a super soldier before ending up becoming the Rat King, and that one was terrifying and psychotic. This one, however, the 2012 version, compared to the others, this one's very dangerous. And what makes it terrifying is that he has telepathic powers and control of the entire rat population. That's like 36 million rats. With an army as big as that, he could have pretty much taken over the city if he wanted. I mean, my god, it is deadly. And seeing how the turtles having a quell against all these rats in one part of the episode was just really scary. They had to save April from a major rat infestation. And seeing all those rats there in like a huge pack was just terrifying. And then they had to deal with more rats later on. And they relied on a bit of improvisation. Not to mention the, the battle between Splinter and Rat King deep within his mind was a very emotional one. Much of Splinter's life is shown here, but it's more or less on the tragic side. Seeing that he had lost his home, he lost his clan, he lost his family, he lost his daughter, and to make matters worse, he has become a rat. This is the episode where I felt Splinter got some needed development, but at the same time, it also shows him at his weakest, at his most vulnerable. It didn't help he ended up being mind-controlled and actually took the turtles down really easily, and it was just... Scary. Had Splinter been able to do the unthinkable, well, that would have been very, very scary, to put it mildly. Thankfully, it never happened, and the Turtles worked their hardest to actually get Splinter to regain his senses, to be where he really belongs, and that was his family. And I really did it like the episode big time, especially since Splinter was able to beat the Rat King rather easily. But it won't be the last time, that's for sure. All I know for a fact is that between the two, it's going to be an intense rivalry. Rather, an intense battle between these two. Not only mentally, but also telepathically. They were able to save Splinter, and they were able to deal with the Rat King. There were a lot of good favorite moments, like the battle between Splinter and Rat King deep within Splinter's mind. Mikey getting thrown by Splinter after, well, waking up. Seeing how that happened was hilarious, since Mikey ends up getting the short end of the stick yet again, and Mikey being a real klutz, especially with the name calling of the villain Nay. I mean, come on, Mikey, we know it's the Rat King, that's all we're gonna say about that. You satisfied? Good, because 
Let's face it, the episode was dark, the episode was intense, and I loved it. We're midway through the season and I am enjoying it big time. I really am enjoying it truthfully because, I'll be fair, I never thought I would get an episode as dark as intense as this. Yeah, the later seasons is where things will get really intense, but for what we have right now, it was worth it and I loved it big time. My rating for it will be in the description below. I should also mention that later today there will be a video I will be presenting, which if you guys want to know, I'll say this. The TMNT are going to be confirmed for Injustice 2, and I need to provide my overall thoughts on this as well as my overall reaction. Because when I saw the trailer, I was blown away. I'll be explaining it when that happens, trust me. So for now, I'm going to end this review here. Did you guys like the episode? And if you did, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Your comments really do mean a lot, especially considering that my channel is not in the best of days. Believe me. That is pretty much it for this episode review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Next time, I'll vibe my thoughts on episode 14, which is later tonight, The New Girl in Town. So look forward to that. All right, that is it. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you guys later. Booyakasha!